breeding dogs. You really want to do that? Peace. So I'm finally here to answer some of the questions that I get on my Instagram daily. Um, as far as people starting a kennel or wanting to breed. Um, or just ultimately having a dog in general. I mean, it doesn't even have to be breeding. Um, excuse the noise. I'm getting loaded. I'm at work. But, um, I mean, yeah. I mean, the first thing that you have to ask yourself is, what's your schedule like? How often are you home? Right? Because you, you're going to get a dog and you're out 12 hours a day and you expect this dog to hold it. You expect, you know, then, then you know, three months down the line, you're going crazy talking about this dog won't learn. No, the dog will learn, but you have to be there to teach the dog. You know? So if you're not there, that's a fail right there. Um, do you have children? If not, are you going to have children in the future to where this dog is going to be an adult with a baby? You know, so you have to pick this, the right kind of breed of dog that's going to fit your lifestyle now and in the future. You know, every breed of dog has its own issues. There's no one breed of dog that's better than the other. other excuse me. It's just every dog has its issues. It doesn't matter what it is. You find the breed, and I'll show you an issue with that breed. Um... You have to be willing to take that on. Some people love English Bulldogs. They understand every, sing, every single thing health-wise that can possibly and will go wrong with the dog, but they love them and they buy them anyway. So as long as you understand that, that's cool. Because if you get an English Bulldog, I'll tell you now, you're coming out of the pocket. I don't think, I don't think health issues is something that should stop you from getting a specific breed of dog if you're willing and you understand everything with that health issue, because if you understand it and you're willing to deal with it, it's kind of great that you want the dog because the dog has already been produced. It's here. If you want it and you understand it, the dog has a home, you know? So, um, I don't, I don't see anything wrong with getting, like I said, every breed of dog has its own health issue. So you're going to get some somewhere. So after you decide what breed of dog you want, all breeds of dogs have different bloodlines. So, you know, you may have a bloodline that's, you know, more driven to run and move and be active. And then there's some bloodlines that are more laid back, you know. Um, do your research on that also. You don't want to get a dog that has a high drive and you like to be on the couch. That's just not going to work. The dog's going to run circles around your house, your apartment. You're just not going to be able to keep up with the dog. And you're going to say that you have a terror of a dog that you don't understand because you're not giving the dog the exercise or the you know, the movement that it needs daily.